Hey gamers, it's Brent from Extended Play Arcade. Guys, pretty decent pickup here. Never had this system as a kid. I, I kind of, I think I've actually played it. Um, but I'm trying to figure out ways to actually hook this up so I can stream it. Uh, my streaming box is, uh, I don't even know. It's right over here, actually. Alright, so my streaming box is a uh, Avermedia and it runs a 4K TV. Works really awesome. I never had any problems with this thing. Um, but this thing is runs out of a coax cable. And back in the day, I used to have to have this Switch TV, Switch game um, to use the splitter. So you'd get audio through the antenna, actually. Uh, so you get audio and video because the coax cable kind of is like an HDMI cable. It has the audio and the video built into one cable. Uh, and then it, the, you know, whatever the coax connection on the other side scrambles the the audio and video. So anyway, let's uh, go see what I got here. Uh, I picked up this is a fantastic game. Um, maybe maybe one of the best games for the 7800. I actually played this. Kind of plays a little bit like a chill Robotron where you're throwing food instead of shooting robots. Um, pick this thing up for 14 bucks with a incomplete in box. I think that's actually a pretty good deal. Uh, this was this whole pickup was picked up at uh, Digital Press Video Games in uh, Clifton, New Jersey. Awesome place if you're ever there. It's fantastic. Real, real, real knowledgeable staff. Lots of fun. So we got Food Fight. Don't ask me how to say this. I'm going to butcher the snot out of it. But it is a super game cartridge uh, for the Atari 7800. Karate K. Karate K? Karataka. That's it. Karataka. I think I got it. All right. So another really fun game. I actually played this on the Commodore 64. Plays really nice there. Uh, real cool game. Again, another $14.99. Someone, someone dropped all these off. So these are not too... I wouldn't say they're rare. They're just probably a little bit more harder to find than like Sega Genesis or Atari 2600 or PS1 and all the other systems like Nintendo. So this wasn't a... I would say this was competing against the the NES, um, so it was kind of kind of a lost cause because the NES had much better connections and whatnot, and the newer TVs were coming out. But that's a whole other story. So we got that one. Again, these are all complete in box, and this one is actually someone took the uh, must have traded it in, got a rebate. But this is actually a fantastic game in the arcade and on the 7800. It's hat trick. Um, it kind of is very simplistic. Uh, this one I got for seven ninety nine. Uh, very simplistic, but it's actually it's a really really fun game, especially if you have a friend that's equally as good as you. Um, it's a top down view, lots of fun. You can actually make some deeks. Um, it's probably it's probably one of. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna. One of these days, I'm gonna rate my top ten, but it's in definitely the top twenty of uh, video hockey games because the arcade one actually plays the best, but this one plays pretty good too. Um, I remember playing this at somebody's house. Um, so, with all that said, can't play these games without Atari twenty uh, seventy eight hundred. I already just slipped and said twenty six hundred sixty four ninety nine. I picked this thing up tested two free games um, one of the games I traded out so there's only one game in here because I traded out because I wanted to I paid the difference for the box version and uh, so you get 30 days um, we'll probably pass that now hopefully I bought because I've yet to have the time to even play this but you can see it's in pretty good condition and came with a pretty fun game so uh, I love Choplifter on the 2600. This one has a little bit better graphics, smoother play. Uh, this might just be one of those forgotten systems out there that you know might want to pick up before it gets too crazy because it's not that I said it's rare. It's just this stuff's kind of hard to find, especially when you find it complete in box. Um, there's your uh, coax cable, and I got they gave you uh, an adapter for coax, so this just screws on, uh, or just puts on so this this goes into the and that goes into the TV um, what I'm probably gonna have to do 
Uh, the best way to hook this up is actually I may do a video on it. So make sure you guys subscribe and I'll tell you the best way to hook this thing up so you can have it on a little bit more of a modern television because no one has uh, CRT tube televisions laying around. Um, it comes with a power supply. It's an original one. These things actually, it's already made them pretty hardcore so they didn't, the ColecoVision ones were, were the worst ones. But this was a good power supply. Uh, joystick, you know, so trying to get that, always, sorry, always tried to give the uh, joysticks uh, other than the paddles, but that was, you know, so it was pretty good shape, I gotta say. And then the system itself, and that's pretty much it. So um, it's a little scratched up, um, which is pretty much all of them, unless you get one completely mint in box that's never been used. But uh, I'm pretty stoked to have this system. Again, uh, kind of goes off the whole coax cable even though it's, a, it's an RCA output but it has both the, the audio and the video built in so that's a little bit of an issue to where you're gonna have to figure out how to get that converted so you can play it on a modern television so so you got the system it's the 7800 Pro system I think they actually had two models uh, it didn't really sell very well um, but that's another story because they were competing with the um, Nintendo NES and then Sega Master System and um, then the Sega Genesis kind of came and kind of kicked the, all their asses so uh, but it is, it is what it is and again that's just by sales not by opinion some people love these things I'm not trying to hurt anybody but anyway recap Choplifter came with this I made a deal so I got this in with the box so we got that one hat trick and really one of one of the really fun games out there for the 7800 pretty decent graphics is food fight so go out play with your food game on and enjoy guys if you liked anything have any questions and wonder how this thing's going to be hooked up to a modern television comment and subscribe i'll see you guys later peace